In this video, I'm going to go over the autoresponder feature of the WebStart's email marketing platform. From your account dashboard, go ahead and scroll down and click the email marketing panel to open up the email marketing platform. Uh, here you'll be able to manage all aspects of the email marketing platform. In this case, we're going to go ahead and click the autoresponder tab. I don't have any messages, so I'm going to go ahead and click the add autoresponder button. And first thing I want to do is choose where I want this email to be set up in. What list rather. So in this case, anybody who signs up for my new sign up list will get an email based on these rules. The subject is um, and I like to throw in a variable oftentimes. Um, and what that does is it's going to personalize that email. Uh, it's going to throw in their first name in the subject. Uh, so they're going to recognize it and go, hey, somebody's talking to me. So that's always a good practice. And you'll choose when to send that email. For the purpose of this video, because I want to see, I want you guys to see uh, the results of this uh, sign up, I'm going to say immediately. But you can choose to send it out a day later, two days after sign up, three days after sign up, all the way up to 30 days after sign up. Also, it's good to have a chain of emails. So say you have one the first day, then you have one three days later, then you have one six days later. Keeping in good communication with the people to sign up for your website is a surefire way to get them to uh, engage, purchase your product, etc. Uh, and for testing purposes, we'll just say, um, we'll throw in a variable again because that makes it good. Uh, and then I'll click save. Now this is set up anytime somebody signs up with the form on my website and gets put into my new sign up list, they will get this email immediately. Now let's make sure that I have that set up. Close out of the email marketing platform. Let's edit the website. And I'm just going to add a very simple form. We'll ask for a name and an email address. And I'll click the form settings and I will choose the mailing list to have this sent to new sign up. And I'll click insert form. Um, now, of course, you can style this, you can add more fields, you can add a number of items, but for the case of this video, I just want to make it very simple. Save the page, view that live, and we'll fill it out. a test email and then click submit now because I'm adding them to a contact form you're gonna have the captures the people will need to fill that out to verify that they are a real human protect your list from nefarious or bad emails and that's it now we can go back into the email marketing platform and we can see that that has been added to the list under new sign up there's the sign up there and we will go to the email and you can see that this was just sent thank you for contacting us steve hi there steve sent 1109 uh that was well that was just now so um you can see that that works now again you can add more emails to go out in another day or two uh all the way up to 30 days uh to continue engaging with your users um but that's about it very simple. If you have any other questions about this or anything else WebStarts related, be sure to let us know.